Chapter 27, A Wish. Ooh, I wonder whose wish it is. Do you have any wishes? That night, in the small dark hut that she shared with Uncle and the sheep, Nin tried to speak of what she had seen. Uncle, she said, eh. I saw some human stars today. How's that? I saw them, all, saw them all glittering and glowing, and there was a little princess wearing her own crown and riding on a little white tippy-toed horse. What are you going on about, said Uncle. I saw a king and a queen and an itty-bitty princess, shouted Mig. So, shouted back Uncle. I would like, said Mig shyly, I wish to be one of them princesses. Har, laughed Uncle. Har. An ugly, dumb thing like you? You ain't even worth the enormous lot I paid for you. <clears throat> Don't I wish every night that I had back that good hen and that red tablecloth in place of you? He did not wait for Mig to guess the answer to this question. I do, he said. I wish it every night. That tablecloth was the color of blood. That hen could lay eggs like nobody's business. I want to be a princess, said Mig. I want to wear a crown. A crown, Uncle laughed. She wants to wear a crown. He laughed harder. He took the empty kettle and put it atop his head. Look at me, he said. I'm a king. See my crown? I'm a king, just like I always wanted to be. I'm a king because I want to be one. He danced around the hut with the kettle on his head. He laughed until he cried. And then he stopped dancing and took the kettle from his head and looked at Meg and said, do you want a good clout to the ear for such nonsense? No, thank you, Uncle, said Meg, but she got one anyway. Look here, said Uncle, after the clout had been delivered. We will hear no more talk of princesses. Besides, whoever asked you what you wanted in this world, girl? The answer to that question, reader, as you well know, was absolutely no one's.